Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. A controversial statement made by Malam Nasser Erufai, the former governor of Cardinal State, has been defended by Nigerian Supreme Council for Sharia. Remember that Erufai was seen in a viral video defending his preference for Muslim appointees during his administration. The video lasted for six minutes. A video that went viral and shown Erufai on the eve of his last day in office addressing a group of Islamic clerics in the Hausa language. They did, I pick Dr. Adiza Shabuwa Bala, Balariba to be my deputy in 2019. First, I did a thorough calculation that most of those that are not Muslims don't vote for our party, the All Progressive Congress. Most of them, so why should I give them the deputy governor position? I did my calculation and I knew we could win the election without giving them the position of deputy governor. That is first. That is purely political issue. It is politics. You want to win an election. You are looking for people that will vote for you. We have observed that since we started practicing democracy, we know places we used to win elections. And those places we don't, we have done that calculation politically. That is the political point of it. But Reverend John Hayab, the Christian, the chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria in Kaduna State, criticized Governor Erufai's statement during an interview on Arise TV. Hayab said that Erufai should be ashamed of himself for making the statement. However, Erufai was defended by the Sharia Council in a statement released on Sunday by the organization's secretary, Adurahman Hazan. Hazan also described the position taken by Khan as hypocritical. hypocritical. The council said, the Christian Association of Nigeria, Kaduna State Chapter, has been waging their tongues, waging their tongues, I beg your pardon, for the past week, accusing the former governor of Kaduna State, Mala Nasar, Nasaru Erufai of making some inciting statements regarding Khan simply because he expressed his opinion on the political realities of the Muslim Muslim tickets. When was Khan, when a pastor stood on the pulpit with an AK-47 in Abuja? Where was Khan when some Christian clerics were making prophecies of doom for this country? But Hala Doom, Lara, all of Hali Balu, and all the fake and false prophecies, nothing negative happened to our dear country, Nigeria. The Muslim, Hamu, has been tolerant enough. If not, there is no way a Muslim dominated state like Taraba will be governed by a Christian. If Plato State with a population of over 35% Muslim were denied the deputy governor slot, why should Kaduna State with a Muslim population of close to 75% not have Muslim Muslim tickets, they ask. Nigerians, this is going to be a kind of religious war if time is not taken. You see all these things, eh? all these people in in a uh, position should mind the way they say because sometimes people act with their utterances they are causing problem there is no how these people will defend what governor um erufai said what he said was really very wrong he knows that even the muslim muslim ticket that the apc have projected today Christians, 
Sorry about that. Christians rejected it and they are still contesting against that. And you are coming out to tell us that is a, a strategic, uh, uh, whatever statics, uh, the tactics you use. And uh, for that, a Muslim Muslim ticket is going to live beyond 20 years. And uh, since it is, is even happening now in the federal level, no one does that. In a religious country like Nigeria, you don't do that. The question is, I am asking this question every now and then. If President Bola Metunubu were to be a Christian and he presented a Christian as a running mate, would the Muslims accept that? Or is it because he's Muslim Muslim? So it does not mean anything. Christians in Nigeria does not have a place. Christians in Nigeria, they are not valued, they are not relevant. That is what APC government have just did. And now they are contesting now in the, in, in the Senate. Now, Northern Edders are telling us that it doesn't mean, it doesn't matter. Even when the vice president is saying, see, I beg, make it not come be like saying, we won't Islamize Nigeria, make Christian day that position, number three position. Northern Edders are telling us that it doesn't mean. It don't, it don't mean. That is, the, the Nigerian president will be a Muslim, the vice president will be a Muslim, and the Senate president will be a Muslim. So what are they trying to say? If what Nigerians are saying is not true, that they are trying to Islamize Nigeria, they, don't, they will not see it as anything. For the fact that the ball is rolling in their, in their side, it doesn't mean, it doesn't matter. But you see life. Wait till you know see person do unto you, you will not like him. Don't do it to somebody else. Because a day, a day of judgment will come. So guys, I'm dropping it. Kindly share.